this variety of plants, different flowering in different seasons with only Mediterranean plants. There are a lot of salvias from Mexico because they flower in July and August. So you, you can have flowers in the worst time of the year, which is summer with 40 degrees. The two gardeners, Paco and Roman, make sure it looks as good as possible all the year round. But Fernando is looking forward to seeing how the garden will be in 10 years' time. The main thing will be that the trees will be mature, and that changes completely the atmosphere of the garden. Well, I'd like to see it, though. <laughs> It'll be very good. I think it's really interesting to see that the inspiration for this garden has come from British gardens and then been applied using a completely different palette and range of plants. It's not a parody or a copy. It is something that is suited to this spot. The hot, dry climate in this part of Spain makes it a magnet for tourists, but it also puts it right on the front line of climate change. And it's fascinating to see how it's adapting to this through its gardens of all kinds. As I leave the coast, I'm stopping off on the outskirts of Marbella to visit a particular local project. This is the Marbella Arboretum which is rather a grand name for what is a collection of allotments. It covers an area of two hectares that is subdivided into 130 separate plots. All of these are available free to local people. A little bit of basil. Hola. Hola. And on a Sunday morning, there's plenty of activity. Hola, is this your plot Hola. here? Sí. Sí. Yes. Mm. And what are you growing here? Pues tenemos tomates, uh -huh. cebollas, pimientos oh. y berenjena también. How often do you come here? Uh, casi todos los días. Normally. Me encanta. Todo, todo. Es una comunidad y todo lo llevamos bien y, y, y pasamos buenos ratos aquí. Do you share what you grow? Sí, también compartimos. Ah. Lo que tenemos uno le damos al otro y lo que tiene el otro nos repartimos también de vez en cuando. And who, who is the boss? Is it you or is it him? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Twelve years ago, the site was a rubbish tip. It took 60 large lorry loads to clear it. The idea of turning this into a green space was the brainchild of Alejandro Orioli, who works here with his son, Ivo. La idea es que este espacio siempre pueda recibir a todo el mundo y pueda inspirar al mayor número de personas posibles. So when people come here, do they always know what they want to do or do they have to learn? La gente mayormente viene sin conocimiento, pero viene con mucha ilusión, que es lo más importante. Nosotros le damos el apoyo, le damos la oportunidad. Alejandro provides all the garden tools and seeds, and he and his son are always on hand to give advice, so that as many local people as possible have that opportunity to connect with nature. La mayor parte de las personas viven en las ciudades y por eso tenemos un arboretum en la ciudad. Porque es aquí donde hay que hacer el cambio de conciencia. So what will happen in the future here? El plan de futuro es poder hacer muchos arboretum que mucha gente se inspire y que generemos muchas islas de conciencia en todas las ciudades. It's a good plan. <laughs> Ambicioso.